If you're considering buying ultimate add-ons for BB Builder, this is what you can expect to find within your WordPress setting. So first, this is what we're talking about is the ultimate add-ons for BB Builder plugin. And you can cruise through their modules and templates to see what's included with this plugin. Once you purchase the plugin and you've installed it on your website, it'll add a lot of tools to your editing screen. So let's say for example, we're going to edit our About Us page. So I go in and click the Beaver Builder editor link. And when I open up the tools, under the dropdowns for modules, rows, templates, and saved, you'll see a UABB modules option. When I click there, this will list out all the modules that are specific to Ultimate Add-ons but for Beaver Builder. So you'll see advanced accordion, advanced icons, and so on. And even separate them out into content modules, creative modules. You can also use the search option to find something in particular. So let's say I'm looking for something related to icons. So I'll type icon. And you'll see under the UABB module section, there's advanced icons, image slash icon, info box, and list icon. In addition to all those new tools, Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder also includes a lot of templating. So to see those template options, we go into Settings and then go into UABB. On the Settings page, you want to click on Template Cloud. By default, a lot of these templates and sections are not already installed, so your website's not bloated with images and templating information that you don't need. But if you do see something you do like, you can install it onto your website. So let's say, for example, we're interested in FAQ pages. So I can isolate down to the FAQ pages and you see there are five options. And if there's one I like, let's say I want this last option number five, I can click the install button. It'll download the assets from the site and now it's available through my site if I want to use that as a template. Furthermore, if you go into the modules submenu option, just like within Beaver Builder, you can turn off certain modules if they're ones you're not going to use. So for example, let's say you're not going to use the call to action or the countdown or the dual button. You can take those out save those options and those will no longer be available as tools so as not to bloat uh, your options when you're not going to use them. Uh, in our opinion, uh, this plugin can be very useful, especially if it's saving you time creating certain modules, rows, and templates. So if you find that the amount of time that you're saving is actually saving you money, then it's absolutely worthwhile. But at the same time, you are adding complexity to the Beaver Builder editor. So if you're fine with the tools you already have, then maybe you have enough. But weigh those pros and cons and then make an educated decision.